good morning, everyone, and good afternoon to all the Canadians as well. Uh, I'm Lo Yuk Lam, the president of Hong Kong Biomat Innotech Association. It's my honor to welcome you to this great event. I have been in the healthcare industry for over 50 years, uh, with the role in government, Hong Kong government, industry, uh, PE fund, venture capital, and I've also been working in Canada in the lab, clinical lab for about seven years uh, in Cambridge and also U Toronto universities as well too. So I've been in a, in a different role in different industries, uh, basically focused nothing but biotech. So I, I, I have seen the tremendous development in change in the healthcare sector all over the world, especially Canada and also China as well too. Uh, will, will you just heard from uh, Mr. Wong from Ping San, uh, tell you the opportunity and also the development from Ping San, which is I greatly believe Ping San is a, is a good place uh, for uh, considering. Uh, but now I would like to talk about the present development advantage of Hong Kong healthcare industry. According to the national plan, Hong Kong been given a role of International Center for INT, Innovation and Technology. And healthcare sector become one of the most main development area. Healthcare sector is one of the area which Hong Kong enjoyed clearly advantage. Hong Kong government has put a lot of effort in the research development and also various fronts as well. Hong Kong has a very solid foundation in biotech research and very top-notch scientists. And our ecosystems is gradually improving. Hong Kong is the first in the world which clinical data are recognized basically by the world. Name NMPA from China, FDA from US, and EC from Europe, and all the major uh, authoritative regulatory body. In terms of infrastructures, Hong Kong Science Park, Hong Kong Sumjan Innovation Technology Park, Inno Hong Kong Clusters, and North to Met Met Metropoles as well, uh, are well equipped to provide relevant infrastructures for the industry. With the implement of Chapter uh, 18A of Hong Kong Stock Exchange, we're now also Asia largest and the world's second largest fundraising hub in biotech company, with a 48 company list in Hong Kong under the new regime uh, since 2018. In 2020, the policy address opened a new chapter for Hong Kong. Our government set up a dedicated team and established a fund to attract international entrepreneur and talent to Hong Kong. Of course, we're going to have a roadmap very soon as well, too. Well, this is a very historical opportunity. I strongly trust that with the state policy endowment and international experience, well-established rule for intellectual property and common law systems are openly and also open flow information and cosmopolitan's environment that are attractive to the foreign business and also investors as well too. Hong Kong will become an ideal place for development, healthcare, and for foreign investment to tap on this huge opportunity in the China market. 